Hi guys and welcome to the first episode of Shroom Up. This is my first mushroom grow, so this episode is about getting started with the North Spore Shroom Tech All-in-One Grow Bag. Now if you guys are interested and want to come along with me for the trip, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button. If you guys have grown before, you can give me any advice, any comments or any feedback. I do appreciate it. Let's get into it. Back in December 2024, I visited MJ BizCon and bumped into the North Spore guys and spoke to Louie, who gave me the rundown of their Shroom Tech kit as well as their full range of kits from North Spore. And I was hooked and interested in trying a mushroom grow from there. So I contacted them when I got back from MJ BizCon and they sent me some samples. So I was committed from then on. The first thing that I noticed when I received this kit and I read through the instructions is you have to be very, very clean and uh, hygienic. Now, this kit does not include any liquid culture or spores. It's basically the all-in-one grow bag and it's got the full instructions of how you inoculate your spores or your liquid culture into this. And all of the growing is done inside the Shroom Tech bag. So if you guys are interested in trying one of these out yourself, you should do some research on the kind of mushrooms you want to grow and check out where to get the spores and liquid culture. Pretty straightforward. But this is going to be a no-brainer, I hope. It's basically set up for a beginner. I'm a beginner. I'm just a little bit paranoid about how, how hygienic I have to be. Basically, I've got a clean everything with 70% isopropyl alcohol, rubber gloves, and I got myself a dark box, which is going to be used for the first stage of growing, where I have to inject the liquid culture into the bag and then wait for the mycelium to spread inside the bag and the substrate that's contained within the bag. It's pretty interesting. It's very different to how I'm used to growing. There's a lot more emphasis on Hygiene and contamination. You're supposed to use a still air box or they recommend that you use a still air box. I'm not. I'm basically doing this in my usual kind of grow space. I've basically cleaned everything down and made sure that it's all sterile and hygienic. So fingers crossed I'm not going to get any contamination. I am using liquid culture for my first attempt because my understanding is that liquid culture is much easier and has a higher success rate when you inoculate the substrate and the bag. My understanding is that spores are the equivalent to seeds suspended in liquid and liquid culture is the equivalent to seedlings. So it's already mycelium in the liquid culture. So when you inject it into your substrate, there's a much higher success rate when it comes to growing and basically lack of contamination. Also, the growth rate is much faster when you use liquid culture because it's already the equivalent to seedlings being injected as opposed to seeds. Now, this is the spore booster that you can use to turn your spores into a liquid culture. I'm not going to be doing it in this episode, but I will be doing it in future. I have bought myself a range of liquid culture and spores to test in future, but in this episode, I'm not going to be using this spore booster. I'm going to be using liquid culture. So that's going to be saved for another episode. When you get your grow bag, inspect it to make sure that everything is still okay in its travel and it hasn't been beaten up and it hasn't got any holes in the bag. It does have a self-healing injection port and a five micron filter so that there's a gas exchange and lack of contamination from airborne contaminations too. Here is my range of liquid cultures and spore syringes. Now I'm not going to be using all of these in this episode. Do your own research guys. You can check them out lots of different places. You can check out lots of different mushrooms. Whatever mushrooms you want to grow is totally up to you. Now I've chosen two. Both of them are liquid cultures which is suspended mycelium in the liquid. As we've already discussed, this is much better for success rate when it comes to growing and also a quicker growth rate as well. If you check it out, it just looks kind of um, like jelly or 
Do you remember a frog spawn when you were a kid? You would check out frog spawn in ponds and stuff. It kind of looks like jelly or a little bit like frog spawn suspended in liquid. Now, when you take it out, you have to add a needle to the syringe here. I'm making sure that everything is clean with the 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm super paranoid about that, so I'm spraying everything. Here we go. We're ready to inject into our self healing injection port in the all in one grow bag. So, I don't know why I'm so nervous about doing this. I guess it's because it's just this heavy emphasis on everything being clean and stuff being in the air. But um, yeah, I'm being overcautious, making sure that everything is really, really sprayed down before I kind of attempt to inject my liquid cultures into this substrate. Here we go. I think it's because I'm using maybe a needle or it seems more kind of like um more kind of like um like a science experiment i guess because you're using you know rubber <laughs> rubber gloves and um syringes it seems a lot more kind of um i don't know more more kind of like a science experiment than my usual grows which seem a lot more kind of like earthy and organic and less kind of emphasis on hygiene all right, so we're going to repeat the process with the second liquid culture syringe. We basically clean everything down with the 70% isopropyl alcohol. We're going to be adding the needle to the syringe and then injecting it into the self healing port on the front there, the little grey square. At the top, the white square is actually the filter, and that is designed to let gas in and out or air exchange, I guess but keep the contaminants out that may be potentially in the air. Again, it looks like uh, basically jelly suspended in liquid. So once we've inoculated this second bag, we're going to clean everything again, and I'm going to put them in the dark box. So fingers crossed I didn't contaminate everything. I've been super careful about cleaning, but in future I might invest in a still box, which is kind of like this plastic tent that you put all of your materials inside and it prevents any air contamination. Now when you're injecting your liquid culture through the self-healing port into the substrate, you want to make sure that you've got a good spread. So basically every angle, basically north, east, south, west of the port. So once you've done that, everything should be good. We're good to go. Fingers crossed this is going to work. I'm going to put it in the dark box here and then just wait. I mean, it can take weeks before I start to see the next level or to go the next level, but it should be within a few days that I actually start to see the mycelium spreading through the substrate. So I was checking in every day. After the first two days, didn't really see anything. I did notice that there was extra condensation on the inside of the bag. Now that might just be because of the humidity of the box and the temperature changes, basically condensation like you see on your window. So I was checking in, I was waiting, I was very patient. And then basically after six days, I started to see the mycelium growth. It was definitely noticeable. When you touch it, it's kind of hard. It's not like um, soft or malleable. So we wait now. From my research, the mycelium has to spread about 20 or 25% inside the bag. So I guess we just eye that before we do the next stage, which is the break and shake. So stay tuned for the next episode. We'll be getting these grows on the go, I guess. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye-bye.